By now, you should know the drill. We cover a really amazing grading trick from the five color grading secrets, and now we're on to secret number three, matching secrets. If you're just tuning in, I want to let you know about our Kickstarter project where we have listened and you'll soon get a chance to make Cinema Grade on Windows a reality. In the description below, you'll find a link to our sign-up page where you can join our early bird list and get notified when the Kickstarter begins. If you missed my last two videos, I encourage you to go back and find them because I reveal a secret ninja trick to white balancing and my secret trick to perfectly exposed images. All right, secret number three. Matching is one of the most problematic subjects for those just starting in color grading or you may still be struggling with it. Well, the secret to nailing perfect matches is with a side-by-side -side view. Having your images side-by-side -side not only lets you compare them visually, but also compare their traces in the scopes. The waveform scope can help us with spotting and making corrections for differences in exposure. And the RGB parade and vector scope help us to spot and make corrections for differences in color. So let me show you how to set these up in your software. In DaVinci Resolve, you can set up a side-by-side -side view by selecting the clip you want to correct, then command or control click over the clip you want to compare it to, click on the split screen button, and then choose selected clips from the drop-down menu. In Final Cut Pro 10, go to Window, then show in Workspace, and select Comparison Viewer. This opens a new window to the left of the viewer where our reference image will show. Now the scopes are showing between the viewers, so let's change their position by enabling the vertical layout. Now let's enable the scopes for the Comparison Viewer and set them to Vertical Layout 2. If we want to compare the shot to the last frame of the outgoing shot, just make sure that the Comparison Viewer is set to Timeline and click on Previous Edit. If you want to see the first frame of the incoming shot, click on Next Edit. Now in Premiere, with the clip selected, let's go to the Lumetri Color Panel and open the Color Wheels and Matching section. I'll click on the Comparison View. Now we can either drag through the timeline or use the Next Edit and Previous Edit buttons to move through the project. Both images can be seen in the scopes too. When your layout is set up like this, where you can see both images side by side and you can compare them in the scopes, color matching becomes much easier. Inside of Cinema Grade, we actually have a special shot matching page. Here you can organize your shots, usually by scene, pick a hero shot for each group, and then when we click Match Shots, we can then see them in the side by side view with the hero shot always on the left. We can copy the grade from the hero shot to give us a good starting point, either to individual clips or all the clips in the group, and then we can set about matching them. What's really awesome is that we can cycle through the different clips in the group by clicking the arrow keys. This sort of acts like a carousel and there's nothing faster for matching multiple shots at a time. Also unique to Cinema Grade is the unique color overlay in the vector scope. Because traces overlap on top of each other in the vector scope, the trace for the hero shot shows as red and green for the shot we're trying to match. Where there's overlap of the traces, it shows as white. Isn't that awesome? Okay, so I hope this helps you with getting better matches in your color grade. Be sure to register for our early bird list to get notified of when the Kickstarter begins and more details. There's more value coming on the way in the next few days, so stay tuned. Up next, I'm gonna reveal my secret for applying creative looks to my films. So look for that video and have an awesome day.